Thanks for joining me online. I'm Kevin Hurd here again to introduce you to another fantastic Christmas gift that you're going to want to make sure you get on your list this holiday season. Today I'm going to be showing you a gift that you can fit in the palm of your hand. It's called a Roku box. These things are about $40 to $80 depending upon which version you get. They allow you to stream television shows through Netflix, Hulu, Crackle, Amazon, other types of internet streaming services from this little box using Wi-Fi to your television set. And they're a great way that you can even save some money as well. In fact, I just recently cut my cable bill not that long ago, saving me about uh, $80 a month, and now use this Roku box to get all my programming. Let me go ahead and show you a few features of the Roku box. It uses an HDMI output, and that's going to allow you to get your shows from this box to the TV. It also has an AV out if you don't have a high definition television. Now let's go ahead and talk about the setup of the Roku box. It's very, very easy to do and something that anybody with a little bit of television and internet experience can handle. What you're first gonna do is go ahead and connect the HDMI cord to the back of the Roku box. The other end of the cord is going to go to the back of your television set to one of the HDMI inputs. Your TV may have a few different HDMI inputs, so make sure to take note of which one you put it in. From there, you'll go ahead and turn on your television set. You might have to channel through a couple of the inputs and find the HDMI input that has the Roku box connected to it. From there, you're gonna go ahead and plug the power cable from the back of the Roku box into the wall, and momentarily, you'll see the Roku box power up on your television set. Once the Roku box loads, you're gonna see an on-screen menu that's going to provide you with a variety of different channels that you can go to. Some of these do require a subscription and you have to pay monthly. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. But first, let's go ahead and get your Roku set up. You're gonna go ahead and navigate to the Roku player settings menu. From there, you're gonna go ahead and go down to network. This is where you're going to connect to the Wi-Fi network. This is also important to note too that the Roku does use Wi-Fi to connect to the internet to get all these shows. So you do need to have a router in your house or some type of Wi-Fi connection around you. And then you're gonna go ahead and go to wireless. That's where you're going to search for your network. So from there, search for your network, find it, enter in the passwords that you need to get on, and you are good to go. Now, there are a couple other things you'll need to do. You can go to display type to set what type of television you have. If you don't have an HD television, you might wanna bring your display standard down to about 4.3 or 16 by nine. Audio mode you can also change as well. And then of course, if you need to change any languages and the time zones, that can be done as well. Now from this point on, you can go ahead and go back to the main menu. This is where you can access all the different channels that Roku has to offer. Pandora is a free one, Disney is a free one. You've got the Facebook channel where you can go ahead and look at people's pictures and videos that are part of your feed. Now some other ones that you have to pay for include Hulu Plus as well as Netflix. I'm gonna go ahead and take you into Netflix real quick. Now I've already signed into Netflix at this point. You'll have to have a Netflix account, you'll have to sign in, but let me just give you a little look at how the Netflix program looks. You can see here that you've selected some of your favorite shows within Netflix already. You can browse through those, the ones that are part of your Kui. From there, you can also go down here. Netflix recommends some top tens for you, popular shows on Netflix, documentaries, comedies, movies, etc., etc. And it's going to use your internet connection to watch that particular movie or that particular show. The channel options that you have with a box like the Roku are virtually endless. You can see there's many, many channels in here. And as I mentioned, many of these different channels are free. We have the channel store that you can go into right here when you do have the Roku. This takes you to a listing of all the different channels they offer. Many of these, again, are free. Like I said, some of them you do have to pay for. You can see in here you have things like Fox News, Movie Phone, Pandora, as I mentioned. Uh, a few more niche channels too. You've got some game networks, movie networks in here, religion, sports, science and technology. It really, really absolutely runs the gamut on all these different channels that you can have with a box like the Roku system. And again, like I said, a little box like this does run you anywhere between $40 to $80 a month. It does include a remote as well, which makes browsing very, very easy. And there are other boxes that can do this too. Roku is not the only one. We've put some of those boxes up on our website as well at Kevin Talks Tech. Dot com if you do want to check those out. Again, I'm Kevin Hurd. Thanks very much for joining us. We'll see you again next time for another product review.